The bell invites me. Hear it not, Duncan, for it is a knell that summons thee to heaven. Or to hell. Murder and treason! A ruined master's murder! Thou hast it now. King, Cordor, Glam, Zor, as the weird women promised. And I fear thou placed most foully for it. Full of scorpions is my mind. Hey! There's blood upon thy face. It's the banco's den. Their throats are cut, that you did for them. In a ditch they bide with 20 trench caches on their heads. Thanks for that. My royal lord, worthy my lord, sleek away your rugged looks. Be bright and jovial among our guests tonight. So shall I. And so I pray, be you. Prithee, go with me. You know your own degrees. At first and last, the hearty welcome. Here had we now our countries on a roof, with the graced person of our banquo present, whom may I rather challenge for unkindness than pity for mischance. His absence, sir, lays blame upon his promise. Please, your highness to grace us with your royal company. The table's full. Here's a place reserved, sir. Where? Here, my good lord. What is it that seems to move your highness? Let it come down. 
thou canst not say I did it! Never shake thy gory locks at me! Gentlemen, rise. His Highness is not well. Sit! Worthy friends, my lord is often thus and hath been from his youth. Pray you keep seat. If much you note him, you shall offend him and extend his passion. The fit is momentary. Upon a thought he shall again be well. Feed, and regard him not. Are you a man? Aye, and a bold one, that dare look on that which might appall the devil. Oh, proper stuff this is. This is the very painting of your fear. This is the air-drawn dagger which you said led you to Duncan. Oh, these flaws and starts, impostors, the true fear, would well become a woman's story at a winter's fire authorized by her grandam. Shame itself. Why do you make such faces when all's done you look but on a stool? Prithee, see there, behold, look, lo. How say you? Why, what care I, if thou canst not speak to? If charnel houses and our graves must send those that we bury back, our monument shall be the moors of kites. What quiet unnamed in folly. If I stand here, I saw him. Fie for shame. Blood hath been shed here now in the olden times. Ye humans that should purge the gentle wheel. Aye, and since two murders have been performed too terrible for the ear, the times have been that when the brains were out, the man would die and there an end, but now they rise again with twenty mortal murders on their crowns and push us from our stools. This is more strange than such a murder is. My worthy lord, your noble friends do lack you. I, I do forget. Do not muse at me, my most worthy friends. I have a strange infirmity which is nothing to those that know me. Come, love and health to all. Then I'll sit down. I drink to the general joy of the whole table and to our dear friend Banquo, whom we miss, would he were here. To all and Tim we thirst and all to all. And quit my sight. Let the earth hide thee. Thy bones are marrowless. Thy blood is gold. Thou hast no speculation in those eyes which thou dost glare with. Think of this, good peers, as a thing of custom. It is no other, only it spoils the pleasure of the time. What man dare? I dare. Approach and dare me to the desert with thy sword. If trembling I inhabit, then protest me the baby of a girl. Hence, horrible shadow, unreal mockery. Hence! <laughs> Why so, being gone? I am a man again. Well, may you see things well done here, lest our old robes it's easier than our new. Pray you, sit still. You have displaced the mirth, broke the good meeting with most admired disorder. You make me strange. Even to the disposition that I owe, when now I think you can behold such sights and keep the natural ruby of your cheeks, when mine is blanched with fear. <laughs> what sights, my lord? I pray you speak not, he grows worse and worse. Question enrages him at once. Good night. Think not upon the order of your going, but go at once. Good night, and better health I send his majesty.
It will have blood, they say. Blood will have blood.